uh, here is a piece of breaking news. The Bombay Natural History Society, uh, which has been uh, working on the on protecting the biodiversity of uh, MMR, has come out with a suggestion for a uh, urban biodiversity plan for the entire region. In fact, the suggestion has uh, come up during a, a webinar that uh, the NatConnect Foundation has organized ahead of the World Migratory Bird Day. Uh, BNHS Director Dr. Bevash Pandav himself made this announcement during the seminar, during the webinar rather. And uh, the other uh, request uh, is uh, we should fight with the government to develop the urban biodiversity plan. Yes. Uh, because we are poised at a very, very unique uh, situation. Uh, unfortunately, we are losing these wetlands and all we are reclaiming and we ourselves are going and staying in those areas. Hello viewers, uh, welcome to yet another uh, chat on the Connect uh, TV series uh, ahead of the World Migrate World uh, Migratory Birds Day to be observed on the May 8th. Uh, we are having this discussion with uh, experts and uh, media persons on the importance of the you know uh, the World Migratory Birds Day and uh, the topic for uh, our campaign which we are launching today officially is uh, birds and biodiversity. To kickstart the discussion, uh, let me present uh, the current scenario. Uh, uh, gentlemen, you must have uh, been observing that there has been a lot of uh, uh, destruction of wetlands in particular, which are the destinations for uh, migratory birds. All the water bodies are being buried very recklessly across uh, uh, MMR. But in such a uh, critical situation, it's now or never situation because the wetlands across the, our country, India, have been identified for uh, uh, water bodies been uh, uh, identified. That number goes up to uh, 7,50,000 more. And out of which only 42 water bodies have been identified as a wetland. That number tell you the story, the apathy the overall scenario of the wetland and why the process of uh, identifying and notifying wetlands have been delayed over the years because the planning authority are not interested in uh, notifying all those wetlands. That's why the TZMP maps have not been finalized yet to delay the process, to give ample time to the uh, project proponents to work on the ecological sensitive area like wetlands and mangroves and do their job because government least bother about what they're destroying. And situation is very critical in terms of whatever little has been left now. Those wetlands have to be protected at any cost. Uh, authorities you know, not caring about the environment and destroying the wetlands. I think Sunil Agarwal, you have a similar experience in Talave. Can you throw light on that? Couple of minutes for you, Sunil. Yes, thank you, Bien. Uh, Nand Kumarji is the rightly hit the hammer on the nail. Sidco not only turns blind eye to um, destruction of wetland, it takes active part in this destruction of these wetlands. And they even go to the extent of lying, not only orally, but uh, Sitco MD gave a letter in January 2017 to NCZMA saying that there are no wetlands where this gold course and the residential towers have to come. Whereas out of those 35 hectares uh, for that project, 34 hectares are two wetlands which were mentioned by Bhim Kumar earlier, Talave wetland and T.S. Chanakya wetland, which are part of National Wetland Atlas. So based on, uh, see in January 2017, uh, the matter was discussed in MCZMA meeting. Nowhere there was any discussion on wetland. So then why, on what basis, MCZMA asked for a clarification from Sitco MD. So it means that they were very clear that there is a wetland here. Otherwise, why they should ask for something which was not mentioned anywhere. Based on that, in April 2017, MCZMA gave the approval to the uh, private builder to develop a golf course and residential towers project here. 
so what is important to note in february 2017 supreme court has given protection to more than 2 lakh 1000 wetlands which are of size more than 2.25 hectare and these two wetlands are part of that uh, protection how can ncjma uh, give a um, uh, approval for a project on a wetland which is protected by supreme court order yeah, despite all the government hindrances i think the birds are flying freely and uh, our wetlands are full of flamingos sunil this is april may is the season actually last year also they had come to uh, talave in a large number this year actually there is some manipulation in water level in talave uh, by the builder in connivance with the local people so actually they are coming to dps lake which again is a lake which was being disturbed in 2010 it was only because of citizens fight against that destruction that yeah. that lake has been saved in kharagar kharagar and your area it's a unique uh, situation that we have in kharagar that it's a it's a you know big valley surrounded by a uh, creek on one side and then you have uh, the hills uh, on the other and then on the northern side we have this huge polluting you know unit <laughs> uh, which the loj of you know, industrial area uh, which leads to huge amount of air pollution problem which is being faced every day by by citizens and uh, on one hand you know the, the 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 greenery that the wetlands provide and the air that they rejuvenate uh, is getting lost day by day on other hand the hills are also getting are also getting you know kind of depleted by in, you know by repeated burning almost every month so the, the greenery on the hill side is also depleting day by day and uh, the fumes that coming from the taroza side is being blocked by the hills and the whole residents in the kharagar area is really you know i think uh, in a big problem um sitko realizes this but still and they are they are aware of all these things you know we have had so many uh, um, you know i think uh, citizens have taken up again mpcb sitko is also involved so they know all these aspects however still they st- still are stuck and stubborn about the that they have the right to develop on anything including crg all the some this so the, the some of a discussion by all mm-hmm. of us is that uh, uh, deliberately or uh, you know by the actions of the project proponents or the government bodies we are chasing away the birds you know instead of protecting the bird destinations as a part of our biodiversity you know we have been chasing away the birds and birds have you know there has been lot of chaos in the sky also because of birds you know missing their destinations dr panda uh, we please come into the picture right now dr. very happy to see angry citizens for uh, this reason i mean for birds being affected in fact i will uh, before i get into the get into the answers of your question i'll just share uh, i'm very new uh, to mumbai uh, i just joined in january uh, i was just trying to be familiar with all these wetlands when this lockdown and all started and uh, honestly except for panje i am not familiar i have visited a couple of other wetlands uh, so when i joined bnhs i saw this huge number of flamingos uh, in navi mumbai i was super excited i mean there is so much of urban wildlife in this area despite yeah. pollution despite all sorts of problem but i was super excited so i had left my camera long lens and everything in dehradun i came back and took it just to see the flamingos and spend some time with our trappers who were ringing all those things unfortunately but you were allowed to enter panje you, you went to panje i heard yes. that you were stopped so, you were stopped there actually you're not allowed to yes <laughs> so we we sort of made a thoroughfare because the road was there gate was open so we entered after entering within 5 minutes some four five security guard came and they forced us to move out and oh. we have a proper permission despite having a proper permission to work in that area permission from sitco Uh, to work in that area nothing so we could manage to spend around 20 minutes in that area and then we were driven but within those 20 minutes somehow i managed to drive around that area and see saw some of those blockages creeks have been blocked natural flow of water has been blocked i believe the super moon has uh, the high tide uh, in last 2 3 days have helped some of this area getting inundated but it's too late now
not all these some of these wetlands including fungi they are they are clearly very very important areas very very important areas uh, and we are losing them we are losing them rapidly the way we have blocked them the way the water flow is restricted because that's a simple area i have been working in mangrove ecosystem for quite some time i started my career as a wildlife biologist in the early 90s working in the bitterkanika mangroves along east coast of india okay. so the major way is you just block the natural flow of water land will become dry no tidal inundation and slowly it will turn into a barren land and then you start constructing you bring a or migratory pathway and very important area if you obstruct this area these birds are going to get disturbed or the, this is going to affect the birds in a major way i doubt how you are going to do it and this is this place is full of birds i mean full of flamingos how can you drain entire thane creek you can't do that birds will be there yeah uh, and uh, the other uh, request uh, is uh, we should fight with the government to develop a urban biodiversity plan yes uh, because we are poised at a very very unique uh, situation uh, unfortunately we are losing these wetlands and all we are reclaiming and we ourselves are going and staying in those areas but whatever is left a proper plan should be made proper plan should be made and that should the municipal along with the municipal corporation we need to work for making a bio urban biodiversity plan and if a master plan is developed if a urban bio or in the master plan if the urban biodiversity plan is incorporated it can be beautifully developed those areas developed in the sense can be protected no need to develop these wetlands just protect them allow the natural flow of water to happen that's all these birds want so i just like to point out my condition is very simple about the panje the panja has to be protected say. at all cost okay so my i went to the court as you have suggested dr pande uh, pando you go to the court and i am giving no chance to the sidco or uh, project proponent to run away and by virtue of its uh, geographical uh, status and scenario the panje is a contiguous wetland spread among four village boundary that the panje funded dongri and bokadwira across 289 hectares is a huge area and my condition is that keep area as it is this what they are going to develop is not something which is in larger public interest what power has been saying dr panda the sidco has uh, officially leased out panje holding pond in, in the lease agreement in the lease letter it says holding pond amuk tamuk samuk samuta that's the area more than 75 80% of the area <coughs> has been leased out to nmscz officially the signed seal and delivered document the initiative which has started let us go ahead with it yeah so dr bondo thank you very much uh, sunil but uh, but, Nareji, but i i i, yeah, I, yeah. I once again i want to reassure you don't write of uh, bnhs i am there um, <laughs> no, and, no 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 uh, no I, your your I, and, I will be there and i will be there okay yeah. thank yeah. you thank thanks, you thanks thanks a lot and uh, thank you, know, you very much We will be start uh, the the things there. Right? We will be asking the government to come out with an urban biodiversity plan, and we will be approaching the government. Uh, Dr. Panda, you please take the initiative of uh, you know doing doing this online meeting with either CM or Aditya. All of us will join us. You let us know the details, and we will definitely take it up.